Good morning, guys. I have done a crap job of vlogging the past few days. It has been, uh, let's get into like the really real behind owning and running a business. Um, and like when you get sick, you cannot stop. So with having a kidney infection, I haven't been able to stop m and Rustics. Um, I have like paused a little, I try to like, you know, give leeway to myself in my YouTube videos, but I also like don't wanna miss out on making awesome content for you guys because it's like what I love to do. Anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just feeling crappy because I feel like I can't get over this kidney infection and it's frustrating um anyway I just haven't been doing a good job at like vlogging and I have like made two videos the past couple days but they were just such like I don't know they were just crap to me they were just crap I don't know they were just crap total crap but I've been working out every single day I've been like super diligent on that um I got done with my antibiotics for my kidney infection and I still feel super nauseous and like my bladder just aches. It's just like, I don't know, all around I just still feel mm, like questionable. So I took an at-home UTI test and it was like barely positive. So I am just gonna go to the doctor at four o'clock today, see what they have to say, maybe just extend my antibiotics so that I'm feeling better. But I'm just, I'm getting frustrated because I like, I need to be back on my feet. I ordered a ton of supplements to help prevent these UTIs from happening anymore. Um, anyway, because like I've been to a urologist before and they can't find anything structurally wrong with like me and my body. I just, it's so frustrating. The whole thing is so frustrating. As far as the weight loss update, I am still at about 32 and a half, 33 pounds down right now. I've been fluctuating up and down um, just with like the bloating I've been experiencing with um, having this like bladder and kidney infection. You have like a lot of bloating that happens. So it's been going up and down. But um, I did just get my second shipment of Eat to Evolve in, which again, if you guys use my code down below, the Biolin 15, um, you can get 15% um, off of your order. So um, let me show you what I got this week as far as my Eat to Evolve meals, um, because these are like my lifesavers. Um, this week I got more beef and broccoli. I loved, loved that one. Um, I got peppercorn crusted biscuit. Ooh, holy cow. Okay, this is a new one. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, I got roast chicken, which looks amazing with cauliflower mash. Oh, with like a gravy. Oh, yes. That sounds so good right now. That's the food that I've been craving. It's like comfort food. Um, Cajun chicken thighs. I did try this one, and this buttery Cajun sauce is to die for. Um, I got some more of that sesame encrusted um, chicken with the cauliflower rice. This one was also one of my favorites. It's really good if you have just like an Asian like craving hankering. Um, and then I have a buffalo chicken burger. Um, I still have this one in the freezer. I have a couple meals left over from last week. Grandma, grandma's meatloaf, cauliflower mash, and Cajun gravy. Oh yes. <laughs> Yes, like those are the meals I'm craving. So it's like they're reading my mind. Um, I got another taco bowl. I did try that one. That was super good. Um, and then I've got salt and pepper crusted steak with keto mash. Oh my gosh, yum. All right, and then I also got the Cuban pulled pork. Oh, okay. That looks super good. It's got all of the yummies in there and it comes with, I'm assuming that's, some kind of ranch or sauce. Oh, Dijonese, mm, yes, okay. Got some more carne asada, this one was really good. I added guac to it. So got some fajita chicken, this one looks super bomb. Ooh, I almost dropped one. And then uh, the last one I got is the chicken fried rice, which is cauliflower rice, crazy Asian dish made with cauliflower rice. Ooh, this one looks really good too. Um, so that is what I got from Eat to Evolve this week. I'm super excited to try some of that cauliflower mash meals because that is what I've been craving so hard. But again, if you guys use my code down below, Byland15, you can get 15% off of your first order. They've got keto and paleo, Evolve 30, gluten-free, dairy-free, low-calorie, low-fat, all the things. 
So no matter what way of eating you are on, they've got you covered, and they are very, very good, you guys. They've saved me so much time and energy so that I can focus on like getting the house clean and filming and doing m and rustic orders and things like that. So I highly recommend them. Their quality is super high, freshly made. Just make sure that you place your order before Friday every single week, and then you will get it on the next Wednesday. Super good. All right, so today, for Riker, I'm gonna make him some more food. I gave him a peanut butter sandwich with some blueberries and some applesauce. He's still hungry. So I'm going to make him, I've got some leftover mac and cheese, some homemade mac and cheese that I made last night, which I will um, insert a little clip here of how I made it because I did vlog last night. It just, like I said, I didn't feel like it was a very good vlog. So here's some footage of the mac and cheese that I made last night. Okay, also, just looked up a Pinterest recipe. I'm going to try and make some homemade macaroni and cheese for the kids um, so that it's more gourmet for So that it's a little bit more gourmet for dinner and I like to cook, I like to try out new recipes. Even though I'm keto and I won't be able to have this, I'm still gonna try a new, even though I'm keto I won't be able to have this, I do enjoy cooking in general. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of cream cheese. I'm gonna add butter, I'm gonna drain the noodles, add butter, do a little bit of cream cheese some fresh shredded sharp cheddar, and then just a dash of creamy Alfredo. And I will show you guys how it turns out. I'm pretty excited. Like I said, I love to like cook and come up with new recipes. And I know that this is gonna be a hit with the kids. So, bazinga. All right, the mac and cheese turned out so good. I didn't do any cream cheese. I just did a little bit of um, I did butter and shredded sharp cheddar with um, some Alfredo in there and it turned out so good. So I've got Kaya and Riker both dished up and they're just gonna have the exact same thing Mike and I are having and I'm just gonna have these chicken thighs. Okay, so I'm sitting in my entryway because I don't want Marker to see. He's eating uh, the rest of his lunch upstairs, but um, we are planning on doing Riker's birthday on Saturday, his birthday party on Saturday. He turns two next Tuesday, which has me all sorts of emotional right now. I'm feeling very unstable and like emotional about it. I'm not ready for him to turn two. Um, but I wanna run through some of the presents that I got for him. Um, and then I want to run through like the theme that we're doing and give you guys some sneak peeks because I thought it was really cute. So we're doing like a Taco Tuesday type of theme. Um, I ordered a cake for him. We're gonna be doing like cactus and like Taco Fiesta, like pinata themed. Um, so to start out with, I'm gonna show you guys some of the decorations that I picked up. Um, now this one is, it's hard to see because it's in like plastic, but this is like a cactus. Um, it's like a p cactus like banner um, and it says like uh, Taco Tuesday. Um, so we're gonna have that um, hanging up in um, the dining room. And then I got these for some like props. These are just like little pinata things. I got these all from Amazon. Um, these are so cute. You can actually fill each one of these. Like so individually you can fill these up um, or you can use them for decorations. So I oh, I just think that these are so, so cute and tiny. You can use these as like little gift bags to um, like cut the tops out and um, fill them full of like um, thank you gifts. I'm obsessed with these. I think these are so cute. Um, and then the rest of the decorations. I feel like there's more than this. Um, oh yeah, there's one more. Um, and then this is for the balloon arch, which is going to go over this. Um, so you can kind of see, we've got like a super colorful theme going on. I've got, so this will be like the Taco Tuesday and then the balloon arch will go up above it. Again, I just got this from Amazon. I get all of my balloon arches from Amazon. Um, absolutely love those. Um, and then I also ordered, so, it's also my little sister's 17th birthday and my family is coming to celebrate his birthday um, this weekend and so I'm going to combine it and I'm doing like cookies that are themed for her birthday and say her name on them. Um, I'm super pumped about that. I think she's gonna love them so much. Um, and then I also picked up little maracas for like toys to play with but also I'm gonna like set them in a bowl. Um, I thought that that would be a super cute for $8 on Amazon. I thought these were so cute. Riker loves maracas. He loves anything that makes noise. 
Um, so that's what I got for decorations. I think between like all of the balloons um, and the banner and then setting out the food, it's going to be plenty of decorations. I didn't want to go like too, too above and beyond because I've done that before and like most of it gets thrown away. Um, and I didn't want to do like a large pinata. So I just did the mini pinatas. Um, so that is what I got for decorations. And then I also got some cactus plates, which are not here yet, but they um, just like plastic. They're just like plastic, like green plastic forks with like um, cactus paper plates. Um, and then this here for like Riker's um, presents. Um, so these presents that I got, I want to put a, a disclaimer. Um, these are from myself and then my grandma sent, my grandma and grandpa sent, um, Riker a gift card to Target. So I just kind of combined our budget with my grandma's gift card to get him, um, a bunch of really fun stuff. Now I was trying to look at like more educational, um, type of toys and um, get him some more educational books. Um, we're really working on like talking and words and animals and things like that right now. So the first thing I got was from Amazon and it's a search and find. Um, this one is so cute. It's all like hard, like, like cardboard book. And it's, I think he's gonna love this. He likes to, um, he, likes the, he likes to do the search and find. He likes to do the search and find books, so you know I'll ask him and say, "Where's the cookies?" And then he'll um, he'll find them. He loves he loves stuff like this, and he likes doing animal sounds. So I got him a Night Night Farm book, again a cardboard book, um, and it has kind of like the peekaboo pages. Um, and he likes to do all the animal sounds, like I said. So I'll be like, "Where's the puppy? Where's the kitty?" So um, that's what we've been—that's what we've been working on lately. Oh, look! It looks just like Koda. So cute. Um, anyway, so I got him this one, and then I also got him "Where Is Baby's Belly Button?" Um, so that we can work on the rest of the. Um, rest of the body parts that he um, needs to learn like you know his eyes and nose and ears um, belly so this I just think is a really great way to teach um, kids like all of their like body parts and then I also got him a classic I got the rainbow fish I think these books were all like five dollars at Target super cheap um, but this is one that I remember I remember reading in um, in elementary school and double up for these is that Kaya will really like these as well we've been reading books every single night before bed so um, I got each of these I think these three were five dollars each um, even this like really nice big one this was only five dollars which I thought was a great deal which by the way it says ten dollars on the back and it was only five dollars online so run um, and then I got this one for like seven dollars on Amazon again it's all cardboard we really like books um, kind of going along the same theme I got him this um, 100 words book um, which will help him learn some of the animals and just more words and pronunciation and things like that it's a really great age to um, it's a really good age to start teaching them like all of the fun things like this so um, this says 18 plus months so this is definitely a great two-year-old present next up I got him um, oh and then I so from Mike and I I also got him um, this like fishing set because we just had Christmas it's really hard because I don't want to get him too many toys these kids have so many toys and they honestly never play with them um, so I was trying to think of more interactive things toys that in like books that would be like more interactive and like would teach does that make sense I don't know I just feel like we have so many toys the kids don't play with so anyway I got him like a fishing set it's a, um, a VTech fishing set I will leave that here it's supposed to come in the mail like today or tomorrow um, but I didn't want to wait to do this video until that came. I also grabbed him some foam blocks um, because I plan on doing some color um, teaching with him and I thought that this would be a really great um, tool to teach him not just like building but also colors and counting eventually. Um, and then I grabbed him um, a train set because this was $12. 
he's been really liking like choo-choo trains and um anyways i just thought that this was a nice little like building project for him and i to work on and something more interactive that would keep him entertained um for a longer period of time and then um the last thing that i grabbed for Riker, the last thing i grabbed for Riker, we actually had one of these when kaya was little um it's one of those like puppies i think we maybe had a leaf frog one um but it's just one of those like teaching puppies so again with like the body parts um believe he like sings abc's um and then has like hand it can can do like colors anyway i just think that this is a really great um like teaching um a teaching like a stuffed animal i don't know i'm not crazy on stuffed animals but i like that this one teaches the body parts and last but not least i decided to go with the same theme um and i got him like tie-dye so this kind of matches those pinatas if i can find them kind of matches the pinatas for colors um so we can kind of stay on the same theme so anyways that is the haul for riker's birthday party stay tuned because i will be vlogging like what everything looks like when it's all put up and getting the cake here and the cookies and everything to give you guys some party planning ideas so stay tuned because that will be here on my channel all right i need to go upstairs and see what riker is getting into because he broke out of his high chair yeah okay so I'm just getting ready to sit down and edit this video for you guys. And I have to run to the clinic and I'm going to FaceTime my sister per usual. Leave it in the comments down below. What do you guys get for your like two year olds and toddlers? Let me know because I like tried really hard to get more like speech stuff. And yeah, also if any of you guys get UTIs and do not get like a positive UTI test when you go to the clinic. Also let me know. I want to know because I feel like this is more common than I think, or like than like what I'm led on to believe. And I just like, with my UTIs, like I don't test positive until I'm like super, super sick. And then they put me on like five days of antibiotics and it doesn't like cut it. Like I still feel sick. And then I go back in and I like take a urine test and then it's not positive anymore. <laughs> so they're like reluctant to like give me antibiotics to like fix it. I don't know, it's just like, it's such like a vicious cycle. Let me know if you like struggle with this stuff too because it's just constant, it's like every six months. It's like every six months I struggle with this and I'm getting frustrated. So if you're in the same boat as me, let me know. Let me know you're, I'm not alone. And if you guys have any like tips or tricks, um, I do take D-Manos every day. I wonder if I just need like a better brand i don't know anyways and i do like all the other things as well if you know what i mean <laughs> okay all right guys i'm gonna see you on friday for another day in the life we're gonna be doing lots of like party prep and things like that stay tuned for my at home with morgan video going live tomorrow which is a deep clean of my entire house i'll be finishing that tonight for you guys and getting it up really late tonight so that it's live tomorrow morning so again if you have not checked out my at home with morgan channel it's linked down below for you and i will see you on friday on my channel and tomorrow on my at home with morgan channel okay bye guys